I'm going to summarise some of the productivity enhancements in 2017 now and look at the speed gains that can be had from upgrading to the new release. So firstly we're going to take a look back at offset on surface. So you'll remember Alex showed us this in the modelling section uh, and here we're just going to run a side by side comparison to show the differences between uh, how we would have had to do this type of feature in previous releases and how we can now do this in 2017. So you'll see whilst I've been talking in 2017 using offset on surface we've actually finished the command whereas in 2016 we're in the process of extending a surface which will now offset internally and then we'll use some trim tools uh, to remove the internal detail. So you can see some really nice speed improvements uh, straight away there while we're still running. So in summary we can see that it's far faster and more stable than previous workarounds. We've also seen some better component placing while mating. So again, just a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, this screw example. So you can see in 2017 it goes straight into position. In 2016 we're going to have to uh, you know, do some rework to get that into the right position. So it was a bit of an annoyance for everybody uh, and hopefully it just saves us a lot of zooming and dragging of components making the mating much faster. We also saw how we can convert static studies to non-linear uh, by using the new copy study option uh, and then specifying the target study as non-linear. In previous releases we'd have needed to create a non-linear study and then drag and drop each of the conditions from our original study across into the new one. So we've certainly gone from a number of clicks down to uh, a couple of clicks now, so a much faster process. And it also eliminates quite a lot of errors as well because the duplication happens by the system. So just on import quality, in 2016 we've got an example of a CATIA file being brought in on the left hand side and in 2017 we can see quite a big difference in terms of the quality of the import being brought across. Uh, on e-drawings, uh, we're just going to take a look here at how the new CATIA import facility helps us in terms of performance. So on the 2016 side, on the left hand side, we're going to open a CATIA file using the CATIA translator. And then on the right hand side, in 2017 eDrawings, we're just going to open the CATIA file. So you can see within about 11 seconds that's opened in eDrawings for us to view that data. Whereas in 2016, that's still working away converting the file. So if you do work with the CATIA data, that new improvement in eDrawings should help you uh, quite a lot, really, in terms of performance. Also, one of the other benefits here is that the SOLIDWORKS CATIA translator isn't required. Mirroring drawing views, we've seen that uh, not that long ago. So in 2017, we just click a button and we can mirror the drawing view, whereas in 2016, we need to go back to the assembly, uh, select the components we want to mirror, mirror those about a plane, and then perhaps create a configuration uh, and then duplicate the drawing. So quite a complicated set of procedures to go through, again, that are quite error prone and time consuming. So just slightly different uh, this time, we've got 2017 on the left hand side, 2016 on the right hand side. What we're seeing here is an example of increased performance when working with large assembly mates and specifically when uh, mating components in our assemblies. So you can see here that we're about five times faster when working with the large data sets in terms of the performance that mates have. Again here, just to keep your uh, attention focused, we've got 2016 on the top now and 2017 on the bottom. Uh, just in terms of how properties are calculated with this, within assemblies, the centre of mass is now the only property that's automatically calculated by the system. So rotation of assemblies is going to be improved because we're not constantly uh, addressing certain properties. We've also seen some optimization on the auto insertion of centre marks, lightweight drawing performance has been increased and sheet metal info now includes some additional properties that will propagate to derived and mirror parts, saving that duplication of information. 
on patterns, uh, specifically linear and body patterns, it now uses uh, a much more efficient pattern code. So we can see on this particular example, we've reduced the rebuild time about 30%. There's a couple of new options uh, in terms of how we load reference documents and what we can do with these. We can now choose to load these documents into memory only. So they're not gonna have a string of files opening in the background. Within assembly visualization, we've got a couple of additional properties. So we can now sort by their last recorded opening times, which is quite a useful tool if you're looking to see what slows down your assembly opening. Within Toolbox, we can now purge any inactive data to streamline the toolbox and keep the footprint uh, of that down to a minimum size. There's a couple of extra options on large assembly mode performance, so we can optimize the image quality and also suspend automatic rebuild. Within assembly features, these have now been re-architectured, so only modified assembly features update on rebuild. Mm -hmm.